Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a good one because summer has just hit. I know you guys are out of school. You're about to get buck wild. You're ready for some trips. You're gonna go to Lake Havasu. You're gonna go do things that I would do back then. A lot of people are going on vacation right now. And so I thought I would film my vacation makeup look. The main focus is just keeping everything looking nice, fresh, natural. If you are interested in my tips, my tricks, keep watching. Obviously, you're gonna moisturize your skin. That's just what you do. I'm using the Olay Whip. This has a little bit of SPF, so I'm just gonna prep my skin with some of that first, because I haven't moisturized yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It smells like fresh shampooed hair, you know that, oh, that clean. It smells so good. So now I'm gonna apply another sunscreen. This is actually the Lancome Soleil Bronzer Sunscreen. The first time I used this sunscreen, I had no idea that it made your face tan, but my body wasn't tan when I first used it, so I was like, wait a minute, what's happening? Like, my face is really tan. This is great for summer, especially if you don't like to put your face in the sun, which I don't. I never ever like tan my face, unless it's like fake tan, spray tan. I usually like to apply it with a brush, only because I feel like I'm gonna get a more accurate application. This is a tanning sunblock, so you don't wanna miss a spot with your hand. You know, just kinda buff it in. Somebody asked me about hyperpigmentation the other day, and I'm like, I do get hyperpigmentation too, so don't feel like you're alone. I get it as well. This has been there for a hot minute, and I'm sure this will be here for a hot minute too. For hyperpigmentation, I use these brightening peel pads, and they are so good. When I first started using them, I had the worst hyperpigmentation right here. I had like this huge mark that was there forever, and now it's gone, so I'm still working on getting rid of all of it. And now we have sunblock and moisturizer. This is something I love. You guys already know, MAC Strobe Cream. I feel like I apply it all the time. It's just a luminous cream for the skin, and I apply it on all the high points. Makes your skin look healthy and glowy, and I love that. So I'm gonna apply that using this Fenty highlight brush. It's their 120 brush. It hugs in just the right places where I want that luminosity. I mean, this is great also. If you don't wanna wear foundation, this is another great product that's just gonna make your skin look really, really nice. You could see how pretty it looks. And of course, just on the chin. Down the nose. This is such a pretty product, even if you're just going to the beach or to the pool and you don't wanna wear makeup, but you wanna look radiant. I feel like it looks like you're wearing a highlight without being anything powdery or anything that looks like a highlight. Next, I'm gonna go in with a mattifying primer where my skin tends to get more oily. For me, my skin is combination normal to a little bit drier in some areas, and then in the center, it's like oil slick city, especially right here. So much oil. So I'm gonna be using the Herborean Extra Matte Ultra Mattifying Primer and Shine Control just in those areas. You really have to treat your skin according to which parts of your skin are doing what. So you don't wanna use mattifying primer all over your face if you're only oily in certain areas. Just like I didn't wanna use the strobe cream on the side of my nose because I don't need strobing there. So I'm just pressing this into there and then also into the apples of the cheeks. So there's a lot of skin prep, but it's important. Crazy how high maintenance a bitch can be, okay? I'm tired. I was just thinking about like all the things we have to do, okay, to keep up. Hair appointments, nail appointments, laser hair removal. That's not fun. Let's just say you wanna get a tan. That's another thing on your list. Facials, eyebrow appointments. Bitches got eyelash extensions all of a sudden. Now I gotta do that. Tampons, can you believe we have to pay for those? As women, they should be free, okay? It's not our choice. I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> Soy maintenance. I'm getting off the subject now. Next, this is the Lancome Skin Feels So Good. This is a skin tint, which I really, really like. There's different options for foundation, okay? It depends on how you're feeling, basically. When I'm on vacation, I think, how am I feeling? Am I feeling like I need a lot of coverage today? Sometimes I just need a color to match my body. This is great for that because it doesn't have a lot of coverage, I'll tell you that, but it is really good to match the bronziness. This might actually be a little too tan for me now that my spray tan is gone, but this is 08 Neutral Honey. Very, very tan. I'm gonna go ahead and see what that looks like now. It's definitely what I've been using, but who knows, right? Because I've gotten a little lighter. I'm just gonna take it on a flat brush first. This is a ColourPop brush. See how tan this is? Don't get scared. You know what I mean? It'll get there, because it's so sheer. 
So this is gonna give you a really just natural skin-like texture. It's gonna tan up my face. It's gonna match my body, hopefully. It's gonna be great. It just feels like a really nice tinted uh, moisturizer. There's certain days where I want more coverage or less coverage. So this is definitely for more of a less coverage type of feeling. But if I want more coverage, I do one of two things. I take my full coverage type foundation and I will dilute it with a little bit of my MAC strobe cream so that it's not boom foundation, but it's also giving me a little bit more coverage than the skin tint would. Or I will do an all over skin tint and then I will do a drop of foundation and just go over the spots I need more coverage or the other option, put a drop of your full coverage foundation into your skin tint and do that if you need even more coverage and then spot conceal. Because if you put full coverage all over your face, it's gonna look heavy and you wanna feel like light in the, in the sun. You know? Now that I have a nice even skin tint, it's just more of a tan, giving myself a little bit of color because I feel like I have some darkness, some pigmentation and a couple breakouts. I put one little drop of foundation into the skin tint and I'm just lightly going over the whole face to get a nice even application. I've recently gotten eyelash extensions and this is because I knew I was gonna be on a few tropical trips where I didn't really wanna be bothered with makeup. I just wanna kinda of do the skin work and then be out the door. And I have been loving them. But I will say like, people ask me all the time what my thoughts are on lash extensions. And I'm like, if you're somebody who likes to be out the door and you don't wanna worry about applying lashes, they're so great. But like for me, I film YouTube videos and I feel like I'm constantly putting on makeup, taking off makeup, putting on makeup, taking off makeup, doing gel liners and all these different types of heavy applications on the eyes that they don't really last and they're hard to like work around for me if I am filming a lot. So I feel like they're bomb if you don't do all of that. Now I really feel like I have a nice even skin tone. I only have the coverage where I need it. I didn't have to put any extra coverage on my forehead. I feel like you can still see certain areas of my skin like peeping through. It's not like super full coverage or anything, but it's just enough. Always customize your foundations. Don't be afraid to mix. You don't need to buy every foundation on the market. If you don't have a skin tint at home, you can make your own skin tint. Like I said, full coverage foundation, put a little moisturizer in there. Boom. So next what I like to do is bronze up my face even further because there's nothing like feeling extra bronzy on your vacation. So this is the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. This is also great if you have problem areas there because it's another form of foundation. You could either do this or you could do a powder bronzer or you could do both. It depends on how extra I'm feeling that day. Like it does change, but this is the basis of it. So I started using this when I first started my YouTube channel and I still love it. It's so good. This is the shade Almond. Boom, 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 boom. Since my brother says I have a big ass forehead, let's like make it look smaller. Just a little shortening of the nose here. And then I'm just gonna go in with this Fenty brush. This is the Fenty 110 foundation. And I like to just kind of first start pressing upwards, light tapping motions so I don't disturb the coverage underneath. I wanna keep the coverage like as heavy as I can in this area. I notice that I tend to lean more towards creams when I'm on vacations or like tropical trips. I like the way it looks when my skin is in direct sunlight. My track is showing, so just like pretend that it's not, okay? Because I just want to be as gentle as possible here. The product just blends so easily. That's why I like it. It's very, very easy to blend. Oh my gosh, my tracks. It's still showing. What? New track. I thought I told you to pretend you don't see my track. Damn, tell someone to pretend they don't see a track and they see a track, they see your track. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the nose part, take it up the sides. Very nice, very natch, very seamless. Boom, boom, boom. This next product I'm just gonna use to kind of set the bronzer. It doesn't have a lot of pigmentation. It just has just enough to warm up your skin a little bit. And it has little gold flecks in it, which I think are so beautiful. This is the 05 Soleil Bronzer by Milani. Drugstore, so good. Now, you need to really Dig into it, okay? Just gonna give you a nice sheen. It's gonna lightly set what we just did, but not too much, just enough. It doesn't look like powder. 
so now we're feeling nice and bronzy. We have a nice base layer. We're looking good. We're feeling fine. This is the point where you could be like, do I need concealer? Do I not? Am I going in the water? These are the kind of questions I ask myself. Will I be going in the water? Will I not be? Probably not because I have hair extension, you know, things like that. You can either decide to put concealer on or not. I always like to keep it very light because like I said, I don't want to wear a lot of powder. Definitely not going to bake. That's not like what I like to do. I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer. This is the Becca Aqualuminous Concealer and I just love this one. I use it all the time. It looks the most like skin. For example, Shape Tape would be really, really full coverage and then your skin would not be as full coverage so it would look in balance. Okay, so we're just lightly patting this in. Just gonna brighten a little bit. I'll spot conceal just this little guy right here. I have to mix two concealers. I use the Dior Undercover Concealer with a little bit of ColourPop. Try to give that a little bit more coverage. At this point, I like to add a little bit of powder, like tap, just one. Then also you could take a little bit of powder and apply it to your under eyes, but I'm not gonna bake or anything like that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm just gonna put it over my lids too, cause sometimes my lids get a little oily. And then if you have a breakout and you covered it, that's a good place to put powder too because that's gonna set the coverage and that's something you do wanna set. Cause over time, if you just leave the cream, the sealer will start to like melt off from heat and all that stuff and then it'll be like red again. So I like to just set anywhere I spot concealed. You guys already know I love my Iconic London and my Marc Jacobs Dew Drops mixed together as a liquid highlight. I've shown you that many times. This, I will do a different variation. Sometimes I like to do that mixture, just the creams, and sometimes I like to use a little bit of powder and just be done with it because it can be quicker sometimes when you're on the go. So I'm gonna be using this NARS highlight. It's in the shade Ibiza and it's really, really pretty, just a nice golden, not too crazy, looks really, really good highlight. I gotta find my highlight brush. This is the Morphe R36. First, I'm gonna tap it right along here. This is a really pretty, like, gold all over highlight for me. This might be too gold if you have a fair skin tone. I'm just gonna use a less dense brush, dip it into the highlight, and just give more of an all over glow. This is not gonna be something that's like crazy. I mean, at least not when I apply it. I like to use a light hand. I'm gonna really, really diffuse this product. I'm gonna do a little bit of that on the bridge of the nose as well. Just do a straight line. The straighter the line, the straighter your nose looks. And I like to tap it with my finger to kind of blend in the product. Glowing goddess. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do blush. I probably should have done this before my highlight but I guess it doesn't really matter, honestly. This is the NARS Liquid Blush in Torrid, and this is like my favorite, favorite vacation blush. I put some on my little palette here, and then on the back of my hand, tap off the excess, because this is pigmented, and you don't wanna to put too much. See, even this, that's after tapping it off. You want to make sure that you don't overdo it. Did I overdo it? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Blush is the first thing that fades. So it's okay if you overdo it at first. Cause look, now it looks good. And then I like to put some across the nose. And then last step, we're gonna apply the Becca collaboration with Chrissy Teigen. I love this. This one in particular, such a good blush topper. I'm gonna take a small brush and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Cause it is a little bit pinker, but it adds such a beautiful glow. Look at that. So then when you're smiling, you're having a good time, you're on vacation, yeah. Look at that. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the highlight and put that in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten that up a little bit. I don't typically wear eyeshadow. This is pretty much all I do. And since I already have lash extensions, it's like I don't need to. If you don't have lash extensions, curl your lashes. So lastly for lips, I usually keep it just down to chapstick or I'll use a gloss. Glosses I will not use if it's windy outside. Um, but if I'm going to like a lunch or something and you know want them to look extra juicy, I'll use a gloss. And these are the two I always go towards. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss and this is our uh, Desi X Katie Dose of Colors Gloss. This one is sold out so I'm not gonna use this today because I love you guys and I know it upsets you. I don't wanna upset you. I don't wanna upset you. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is just like such a great universal color. You know what? It's important to take off the foundation from your lips because you don't wanna look ashy. You don't want any ashy lips. And then when I go out at night, 
I do a version of this exact makeup and then I just add like a little bit of eyeshadow on the lower lash line and on the lid and then I'll like do a lip liner with a lipstick, like a full blown lip liner. But during the day, I'm kind of just like, I cannot be bothered. So this is just nice. And it also just looks like youthful, healthy. Cause listen, if I do a lip liner, it takes a minute because I build my lips so hard. And now the finishing touch is just a setting spray. If you get extra sweaty, then maybe you wanna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. That's a really good one. But if you love the dewiness and you're like, give me more of it, then you might wanna use this Cover Effects Dewy Finish. It has a really nice mister. It's very light. All right, so that is it. That is the makeup look I've been wearing. This is kind of like my go-to vacation look. Like I said, switch out the products, change it up, whatever works for your skin. If you need something a little more matte, do that. A little bit more dewy, do that. The whole focus is to keep your skin looking like skin, looking dewy, looking fresh, everything melting in together, nothing looking too powdery, and just knowing that when you're in direct sunlight, you can slay. You know what I mean? That's kind of my mental note every time I do my makeup for vacation. How am I gonna look in direct sunlight? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I had no idea that, oh my God, I have mocos. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, why am I doing this while talking? Tell me. My track, honestly, should I just take it out? This is like, I can't. We're all friends here. Like, I don't have long tendrils, okay? So I have to add them. Bye. Three. So, I don't know what's wrong with me right now.